It's time now for Tom Keen, Bloomberg editor at large and host of Bloomberg Surveillance right here on Bloomberg Radio. And Tom, our focus today is what is really going on with the economy. What do you mean by that? Well, you look at you look at equities, bonds, currencies, commodities. You can say not much is going on. When you look at the spread because market, because we're stuck in a range. Yeah, just range-bound trading and all that. But you look at the spread market, there's been a big, big improvement. Let's go to a chart right away. Uh, the Bloomberg Financials Conditions Index. Uh, Michael Rosenberg and our team put this together. Above the red line is good news. That was back uh, before the crisis. Down we go. And then down we plunge to a negative 10 standard deviations. Truly unprecedented. And you can see how nicely we recovered. That's a set of 10 or 11 spreads. The IMF uh, uses that. Uh, uh, in their financial stability report as well. Just one indicator sure. of things getting better. One of many, one of the green shoots out yeah. there. What does this Bloomberg Financial Conditions Index track, though, when it comes down to it? You mentioned spreads. Corporates, it's all spreads. Corporate spreads, muni spreads, LIBOR OIS. It's a soup of uh, spreads. Add salt and pepper, and you can get a picture of the uh, financial conditions that are out there, and it's a big improvement. Dean Mackey has been re re relentlessly optimistic Dean Mackey at, at Barclays Capital. Okay. And, uh, you know, he's suggesting here, look, things are pretty good. Saving Savings rate is higher than we believe when he runs through the numbers, mm -hmm. and it leads him to a remarkably optimistic end of 2009 and a 2010 that goes to 2.8 percent positive GDP. So uh, Barclays Capital really leading the way in optimism as we go into what next year. What is he year. saying about things like inflation, though? That's certainly something that's the bond market is worried point. about. He's looking at it, lesser inflation than the gloom that's out there. He thinks it's overstated. Mm -hmm. And you get to a top-line GDP, which is actually uh, within means. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very pleasant report, if you would, from uh, Bar Barclays Capital. You get real economic growth combined with, as you allude to, Scarlett, lesser inflation. Now, what are you looking at on uh, Bloomberg surveillance this morning. Well, we've got George Magnus of UBS. He's got a more cautious view than Dean Mackey. George Magnus will join us. And Dean Ocos of uh, Bar uh, Portalis Partners uh, will join us uh, as well as we try to wrap up a week. It's been a, it's been a soup of a week, don't you think? I mean, a soup of a week. That's no, a good way no of putting it. No Direction. real trends here. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're grasp we're clutching at straws here. Yeah, and don't forget Jan Hatzi is at Goldman Sachs with a far more cautious view. He reaffirmed negative 3% mm -hmm. for this quarter a few days ago. Okay, we look forward to it. Bloomberg surveillance sure. starts at 7 a.m., runs through 10 a.m. New York time. Now